Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do a quick video showing you how to replace the rear reverse bulb light on a 2014 Jeep Patriot, um, as well as the rear reverse bulb socket if you need that replaced. Um, this is gonna be very similar to my other video where I showed you how to replace the rear brake light on the 2014 Jeep Patriot, but instead we'll just show you how to replace the reverse bulb light instead. Okay, so first thing you're gonna to have to do is figure out which bulb is out. Usually you find out these lights are out by somebody behind you or a family friend kind of noting that your light's out when you're putting the car in reverse. Um, for my car, it's actually gonna be this left-hand side, uh, which is actually this bottom bulb here. Um, easiest way to figure out which bulb is out is just have somebody hop in the car, turn it on, and put the car in reverse, and then just look at to see which light's out. Um, so that on my hand, mine, it's gonna be the left-hand side here, but just check that, and that's your first step for what you want. Now, as far as what you'll actually need to replace the bulb, um, first off, if the bulb's actually out, you're gonna need new bulbs to replace it. Um, so you could just go to an AutoZone, Advanced Auto, any auto parts store, and you'll get the Sylvania. It's gonna be number 921. Um, the bulbs, I'll show you what it looks like, is gonna be these clear bulbs. Um, like this with a clear insert on the bottom. There's actually gonna be no attachment here. Sometimes they give you the ones with the attachments which are wrong, um, but you're gonna need this actual clear bulb, not anything else. Um, so that's for the actual bulb. I'll show you what you might run into an issue as far as if the bulb socket is out. Um, but if the bulb socket is out, which is the issue on my car, um, you're gonna need to get a different part, that, which is gonna be a replacement part, which is the bulb socket. And that part is gonna be the Duralast. This is available at AutoZone and it's actually part number 1759. I'll leave a link below if you need to check out those. Um, but these part numbers I'll put down below if you need to look at it. Um, so that's that. And then as far as replacement parts, and then the only real inch, or tool you'll need is you're gonna need needle nose pliers. You might want to use a screwdriver as well um, just to elevate this, but um, it's pretty straightforward as far as taking this apart. Um, so on my left-hand side, this is where the brake light is. The, what you'll find is there's gonna be two attachment points with push pins on the inside. So there's gonna be one here and one here at the bottom. Um, these um, are easiest to elevate with a screwdriver where there's a part where it's, um, you can kind of pry it up a little bit, and once you pry it up, use pliers to lift it up. I've already got this started just to facilitate doing it on camera, um, but what you'll essentially do is very carefully, without damaging the plastic, use the um, pliers to lift this up and pull this out. And so as you can tell, it's a push pin like this, and then there's gonna be a piece that's actually in, and it'll look like this where it pushes into here and that's what secures it. So there's gonna be one on the top here and then on the bottom there's gonna be a very similar one here. Sorry, it's hard to do on camera without blocking the camera. Um, but very similarly, you're gonna just pull that out on the bottom. Um, make sure you don't separate these or lose these or damage them in the process, but that's what that looks like. And so that's the only thing securing this. Um, once you do that, what you'll do is essentially pry this out where you just pull it out um, and then what you'll find is, sorry, it's a hard angle, um, but the, on the left-hand side uh, over here, there's gonna be these knobs that actually click into place. So when you put this back together, you'll slide those back into place. I'll show that at the end of the video. Um, but those kind of slide on the left-hand side into these two areas here. But that's the only thing holding it together. Um, now as far as, um, sorry, there's some background noise. Um, as far as replacing the bulbs, if you need to replace the rear brake light, that's gonna be this top one here. Um, both of these are gonna be very similar but basically you just go counterclockwise to unlock it here and then pull it out and so that's where the bulb is so this is the rear brake light so if you need that re uh, replaced all you have to do is basically pull this out from this part I'm just doing this on camera now just so you can see this if you ever have to run into this issue and that's what this bulb is going to look like you'll have to look up the number or check out my other video um, but that's that bulb and basically that just slides in and out and clicks right into place. And then when you put it back into place, um, what you're gonna do is just kind of facilitate it so it's pointing and aligning right with the, the alignment there. And then just go clockwise and it'll tighten back into place. So that's the rear brake light. Uh, as far as the rear reverse light, that's gonna be this bottom one here. Just to do this on camera and make it easier, I'm gonna actually take out both of these. But very similarly for the rear reverse light, you just turn it counterclockwise, it'll click out of place. 
and then it'll free everything up. This is basically what the whole kind of apparatus looks like. It's completely free, so if you want to just take apart both of them to speed it along, that's easiest. Um, but this is the rear reverse light. Um, if your bulb is the only thing that's broken, um, what you do is basically you just pull this out and you're going to just put in the new bulb and slide very carefully slide it into place here and it'll snap into place. Um, if that works, basically all you have to do is just go back in your car, put it into reverse to make sure that this light illuminates. And then if that's working fun functionally and appropriately, you don't have to do anything at this point. Um, however, the issue I had is actually this bulb socket is the problem where um, I'll show you up close, but it, it, later on when I get this off the car, but there's contacts here within this bulb socket um, that connect with this uh, this light bulb and what I found was actually one of these was broken off and the metal piece broke off and so the con I actually have it over here on the side because I pulled this apart earlier um, but basically the contact there broke off so that this bulb um, couldn't remain in contact with the socket and it no longer illuminated appropriately so if you have that issue you're gonna actually have to replace this entire socket entirely and so what you'll do here is um, when you look at this, um, there's going to be this red piece here that connects with the black. What you can do is just with these, um, the, the needle nose pliers, elevate this red piece very carefully. Or you actually don't, I don't even, yeah, you don't even need needle nose pliers, but you basically elevate the red piece here so that it's not sticking all the way down. And then you're going to squeeze on the black part here and very carefully pull this out. Um, when I first did this, it, it, it was stuck stuck on and it was a little bit difficult to pull out where I had to press this a little bit harder. But what you'll notice is if you press the black piece, it elevates this piece here so that you can actually pull out the socket and it no longer clicks on this side right there. So basically if you put it back in, it'll click back down and then you push this down and it'll snap into place. But really all you have to do to free this up is pull the red piece and squeeze the black there and then pull it out. And that frees up this entire socket. And if you look up close, um, essentially on, if you look at the top here, uh, that's where the contact actually is still in place, but on the bottom it basically broke. So that's why it's broken. So as far as the replacement, this is where this other piece comes into play. You don't need to need, use this if, you, if the bulb works on its own. Um, but essentially this is the exact same piece here. Um, and I got this from AutoZone, I think it was like 11 bucks or so, but as you can tell, the contacts are in place. So all you have to do is really click this back into place, very similar as you took it apart, where you just click it into place. All right, it's clicked in. Now you slide the red piece in. Now you're just basically gonna turn, put the bulb in very carefully without damaging it make sure it's snapped all the way down and then you'll hop in the car um basically turn on the car put it in reverse um, i'm not going to do all this on, that on camera right now just because i want to show you the whole process but um, assuming this bulb works um, we can put everything back together so now as far as putting everything back together you're basically going to reverse that exact same steps you had you're going to take the whole apparatus you're going to take the rear reverse uh, or rear brake light you're going to basically put Put this back into place here and then snap it all the way into place by you making it counterclockwise or clockwise in this instance and very similarly for the bottom part here you're going to get it aligned appropriately and then you're going to basically turn it clockwise make sure it's all snapped into place okay so that's everything here then lastly what you'll do is you're going to basically put this back on so here on the left hand side you're going to put these nubs into this area here and then you just have to maneuver it a little bit and then it snaps and actually clicks into place, all right? And then at the end of this, what you'll do is just put these push pins back in exactly as you took them out. You'll basically slide the plastic all the way down and then push it all the way in, okay? And then the last one you're gonna do for the bottom one, okay? And then you're gonna just slide it all the way down and push it in. And that's everything you have to do. Um, after doing this, what you wanna verify is that the brake light's on and the reverse light's on. So you just hop in the car, turn the car on, hit the brake lights, make sure that those are working, not having any issues. Similarly, you do the same thing for the reverse light. And so that's everything for this video. That's really how to replace either the brake light or the reverse light on a 2014 Jeep Patriot. Um, I'll leave 
leave links below if you need the products um, or the, the actual uh, bulb or the socket. Um, if you have questions, comments, please post them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you, if you uh, are interested or like this video, please like the video and always hit the subscribe button if you're interested in following up with my other videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.